You ever hear something that hits you like a ton of bricks? About 10 years ago, I could have used this little simple truth. You get to choose your hard. It's a no-nonsense reality check. Whether it's relationships, getting back in shape, your job, starting a business, life is tough. But the beauty is you get to choose your hard. Take me for example. I'm on a mission to get in the best shape of my life. No half-hearted jogs or weekend warrior stuff. I'm talking sweating out in the gym while everybody else is drooling on their pillows. It's hard digging myself out of bed when it's pitch black outside. It's hard skipping that cold beer after work. And it's hard meal prepping on Sunday when the neighbors are out grilling steaks. But it's the hard I'm choosing. Because let's be real, what's harder? Waking up sore but stronger every day? or staying comfortable while you're watching your waistline expand. It's hard to push yourself, but it's even harder to stay stuck. So yeah, you get to choose your hard. The road to improvement isn't glamorous. It's uncomfortable. It's sweaty. And sometimes it's downright brutal. But here's what keeps me going. One, impermanence. Nothing lasts forever. A month from now, I'll be fitter and this grind will be a distant memory. You won't miss the struggle, but you'll love the results. Two, my why. I'm not doing this just to look better. I'm doing it to feel better, live longer, and be the best version of myself. That why is what pulls me out of bed when motivation wants to hit snooze. And three, inner knowing. I can see it now, feeling unstoppable. Looking back at what I've achieved and laughing at the version of me who thought it was too hard. I've made my choice. I'm not here to settle between comfort and progress. I'm choosing both. It's tough now, but the reward? Totally worth it. So when life gets tough, just remember, you get to choose your hard. Pick the one that gets you where you want to go. And hey, if you're lucky, you may even enjoy the view along the way, once the soreness wears off, of course. Now I want to hear from you. What heart are you choosing right now? Drop it in the comments. If you know someone who could use this encouragement, share this video with them. Tag them in the comments or send it to them directly. Let's spread the word and remind people to keep choosing the right kind of heart.